So we've been doing a lot of arithmetic with multiplication, division, and addition. Here I want to show you um, something. <laughs> what if I ask you to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5? All right, what is the answer to that? Well, you can say 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. Now just a side note, has nothing to do with this video, but you can also notice a pattern here which you could play with and work out. Uh, you could even Google how this pattern was discovered, but 2 plus 3, well that's 5, and 1 plus 4, well that's 5, and then we have 5 here. So 5, 5, 5, that makes 3 fives, which would be 15. Now, what if I asked you to actually have the, have the computer do this with using the knowledge that we have gained thus far? Well, the most efficient way you could do that is to move into EAX, the first value, and then add EAX2, and then add EAX3, and if you're a hotkey guy like me, control L, control V, 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 and put a 4 here, and a 5 here, and then that would <coughs> accumulate all these values 1 to 5 into the EAX register, which is we also call the accumulation register. Anyway, Let's run that and just verify that that works. Uh, Control-Alt-D to pop into disassembly mode. I'm going to get rid of the watch window. Press F11 to get into our do it function. And watch EAX. This will change to a 1 when we do this. And then we add 2. That's going to change to a 3. And then a 6. And then an A because an A is 10 in hexadecimal. And then an F because that's 15 in hex. Pretty straightforward. I hope... Uh, that, that there's nothing new there for you. Um, well, that's cool, but what if I change this up and said, let's keep going with this pattern, and let's run plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, all the way up to 100. So I want to add all the numbers, 1 to 100, uh, and I want to store the answer in EAX. Well, that's going to take a long time, isn't it? If I could do control L, control V, 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 and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hopefully you're getting the idea that this is not the optimal way to do this. And if you have programmed in higher level languages, which chances are you may have, you're hopefully recognizing that we're moving towards a looping structure. And the code that we write here on the assembly level is the exact same code that a compiler will generate if you do a loop in a higher level language. If you don't understand higher level languages, that's fine. Don't stress it. We're still going to learn about loops. Now, just as a side note, I want to show you the mathematical syntax for writing this. You probably saw this in an algebra class, if you've taken an algebra class. But we use this symbol, which looks kind of like a big E. In fact, I don't think I drew it correctly. Let me see. You've got to do a perfectly straight top, and then like this, and like that. and Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, and then I'd say 1 to 100 here. I want to sum, all right, this is the sum symbol. I want to sum I from 1 to 100. And basically that means, is what that means is the same thing we're doing here is I will be 1 and add that to our sum. And then I'll be 2 and then add that to our sum. And I'll be 3 and add that to our sum. And so on and so forth until you reach the upper bound, which is 100. Anyway, if that made no sense to you, don't stress it. But I just, I had to throw that out there. All right, well, in order to do this, we need to do a loop, which basically means do the same instruction over and over and over again until we meet 100. But in order to teach you about loops, I need to show you some other instructions, and instead of doing that all in one video, I think I'm going to break that down into a few sub-videos. I think that will make the job a little bit easy easier.